In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best video and audio settings in Video Ninja for your guest video when inviting a guest into your show using OBS, obviously. So the thing is, if you use some settings that kind of default settings right now in Video Ninja, you may get an okay video, but if you follow the settings that I'm gonna show you, you're gonna get the best quality in regards to audio and video. So let's not take much time, let's get into it. What is going on guys? My name is Sam watching our production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So let's go ahead and open Video Ninja. So go to vddo.ninja. Again, I'm assuming you already know how to use Video Ninja or you have used it before. If you haven't, if this is your first time, we want to make sure you check out my video down below for beginners if this is your first time using video ninja to bring in guests into obs and of course if you're familiar with video ninja you can go ahead and just keep following uh you know just to see what i'm gonna show you because it's interesting all right so we're gonna go ahead and open create a new room as usual and for the room i'm just gonna call it my show um uh, i'll just call it test and password i always use one two three four you don't have to create a password but you can if you want and the guest can see director but no other guest yeah you can check all the settings here again this is not the whole point of the video and then we're gonna go ahead and enter the room as a director so what we're gonna do here we're gonna go ahead and uh create our first um, you know, this is our link to invite our guest. Okay. So there's one thing that I usually don't show on my videos and that this is the whole purpose of creating this video is you can actually go here where it say customize. So we're going to go here before we send the link. And then on this link here, you can customize and add some good stuff, uh, for before you actually send the link. And one of the things you can do is what we call pro audio mode. So pro audio mode. So basically is uh, if you have, a, you know, you put your mouse over it, it's gonna say this can cause guests to be too quiet or have feedback or echoes or, you know, stuff like that. The reason why is pro audio mode is like, it's gonna give you the best quality in terms of audio. However, you're gonna have to control everything manually, okay? So this is one thing that you can toggle. So basically what it does is gonna turn off like echo cancellation and stuff like that. However, again, I just wanted you guys to see this. As you can see, it's also, there's another one that I like that says 1080p 60 frames per second video if available. Again, this one, I'll actually recommend it because it's kind of forced to, you know, the guest to send the best video possible. Uh, also, you can toggle this one that says guest CHD video. Again, for this one, I don't think it's going to benefit you. It's going to benefit the guest more than it benefits you, the producer. And for now, what we're doing really, we're trying to improve the quality of the final video or for the producer. So this one, you don't need to toggle it. Okay. Um, everything else, actually, you don't have to do much. There's a lot of stuff here you can actually check and uh you know just see which one you would like to but this is one thing that i wanted to show you guys you probably never seen before all right so again for this time i'm actually gonna turn off everything because i want to show you where you can actually access all these settings before uh actually after the guest has been invited all right so we're gonna keep the guest uh just you know close customize this customize button or what or menu whatever and then what i'm gonna do we're gonna go ahead and just copy the link and then we're gonna send it to our guest to invite them so i'm gonna go ahead and paste into my browser i'm going to invite myself <laughs> as a guest and then the password it's gonna be one two three one two three four i believe there you go and then we're gonna uh, click join with the camera and then I'm gonna go ahead and actually join with my uh, Osbat camera right here. All right. So as you can see, it's kind of ready. It's not tracking me right, but there we go. So now this is the camera that I'm using just to be able to join. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start. I'm gonna choose any microphone. I mean, I have the Rodecaster microphone, which is the one that's filming this video. So I'm probably gonna change the microphone to something else. I'm going to use the microphone from this webcam just for the sake of this video. And once we're done, I'm going to go ahead and click uh, join or start. And then we're going to go here to the control room. 
and this is the guest video all right so by default usually you're gonna get this preview that's not gonna look pretty it's not very cute uh, because it's low resolution this is done intentionally because you don't want to be using your internet connection uh you know like you kind of spending your bandwidth here in video ninja because you need the high quality and all the bandwidth back in obs and for your streaming so it's like saving you some bandwidth all right so next what we're gonna do is again we're gonna work on the guest video only we're not gonna be touching the producer's video and all the other stuff so what we're gonna do basically the key settings are actually right here all right so we're gonna go if you go down here you see where it says audio settings and video settings we're gonna start with audio settings all right so the first one we're gonna play with as you can see we have noise gate it's off compressor it's off auto gain control i like to keep this one on the reason is because sometimes the guest may have a lower microphone or lower gain microphone and you don't want to be playing with that manually so you want to let the software kind of control that for you especially if you live streaming if you are recording this signal maybe you won't need that because you can record it even if it's low and a signal you can boost it afterwards when you you know you're editing the audio but if you re, uh, you are live and you have a guest on i will actually recommend you have the auto gain control on echo cancellation you want to make sure you turn it off because this is uh, it's gonna work but it's gonna lower the quality of your audio you want to make sure you turn it off unless the guest doesn't have headphones so you want to make sure you tell the guest uh, to use some loudspeakers to use uh, headphones so that you can actually go ahead and turn off the echo cancellation noise suppression same thing just make sure you tell them to be in a quiet place and uh voice isolation basically you turn off everything here all right if you need to add some delay you can add some delay here let's say if their guest comes in and there's a mismatch you know the lips and the video they're not matching you can actually add some delay here which is really awesome so other than that everything else should be should be left alone this is all you gotta do to get the best audio uh the best sounding audio really just make sure the guest of course has some headphones to avoid any echo problems right another thing is for video we're gonna go to video now and then what you need to do is you're gonna go to brightness you you don't have to be playing with the camera and stuff like that you want to make sure you tell the guests you know to make sure they have good lighting and stuff like that here what we're working with is really the resolution you know stuff like that the frame rates and stuff like that so exposure you can leave it the way it is you don't have to play with the exposure you, you want to tell the guest to adjust the exposure within the camera all right so you don't want to be playing with the exposures and focus and stuff like that in my opinion frame rate again keep it at 30 frames per second it's perfect for this type of stuff i know height this is the key because if you see the height is 720p which means if i was to take this link back in obs it would be a 720p video it wouldn't be a full hd video so this is where we're gonna change it to 1080p this is key guys okay now if we had a 4k camera like this one and my ausbat tiny 2 is actually 4k i could do 4k but again no one wants to live stream in 4k so uh, not, at least not when you're bringing in guests all right so the height we're gonna check that and then the width we're gonna change that as well so as you can see the default video is not full hd it's hd in 720p so we're gonna change it to 1920 uh to 1920 okay and this is actually making our video full hd all right so now everything looks good and we can go ahead and hit copy solo link now before we copy the solo link you can even go here where it says um you know on this icon it says high quality preview if you want to preview a high quality preview here you can toggle this it's gonna help but but again you don't need this preview to be high quality really because as you can see it makes the video look even like better all right for the preview but we don't need it you can leave it low resolution really in my opinion okay you can also like disable the video preview if you want and it's gonna keep a frame here if you want to you know save some bandwidth but again for most people this one will be okay okay so once you're done reading 
these are the best settings you can get let's go to obs and you're gonna see what it's actually going to look like so i'm gonna go ahead and open obs and i got the solo link and i'm gonna show you what the video is going to look like so we have a scene here that's open already and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go ahead and delete this one right here and i'm gonna add a new browser source so browser and i'm gonna call it ninja okay ninja hq uh, and then i'm gonna hit okay and then we need to go ahead and bring in our url so Control v the link that we just copied from there and then i'm gonna go for the width uh, you want to make sure you type in 1920 and then the height you want to make sure you type in 1080 right and then you can uh, choose control audio via obs and everything custom frame rate you can go ahead and leave at 30 frames per second and everything else keep it the way it is and now we should have the video coming in so if you can see guys if you can see the video looks really good it fits the frame and of course this is gonna depend on the guest internet connection but if the guest has a good internet connection the video should look really like should look good right so as you can see the video looks good really and uh if you can see that the signal is perfect the video is clean and uh, it's high quality it's full hd and i'm getting the best quality possible uh for video and audio all right so yeah so now from here you can go ahead and add your own video here and do all the good stuff add overlays like you know like how we do it usually but if you never seen how to build the whole thing and add your video or add more guests and add overlays and create a full show where you have a guest inside obs so if you want to see how to do that you want to make sure you check out my next video right here and i'll see you there guys take care